Hey guys, Nicole from Spokane. If you're towing a trailer with a Nissan Murano, it is required by law to have trailer wiring installed. Let's show you how easy this is. You'll need the tools seen here to complete your installation. So the product we're using today will be a tail light connector. To get to the connector, we'll be going behind the tail light into the cargo area panel. Let's show you how easy this is. We're gonna start by removing the flooring. Now we're gonna remove the side covers. So starting on the driver's side, we've gotta remove the storage bins. To do so, we've got two screws that we will remove using a Phillips screwdriver. Give it a little tug and remove. On the passenger side, we're gonna do the same thing, but we need to take out the spare tire equipment. On the driver's side, we have a cargo hook that we need to remove. We're gonna remove the cover using a flat head. To gain access to the screw, and to remove the screw, we're gonna use a 10 millimeter socket. We're gonna repeat the process on the passenger side. Okay, so now we're ready to take the driver's side panel off. While we remove this, the plastic trim around the handle will come off. Now that our panel's pulled back, we now have access to our driver's side tail light connector. Our next step, we're gonna remove the connector by pressing the tab here. Now we're gonna plug in our yellow T connector into our wiring harness. We're gonna take our green T connector and we're gonna repeat the same process on the passenger side. So we're back on the driver's side and we need to ground our white wire. To do so, you can use the provided tap screw or an existing bolt on the underside. We're gonna use this existing bolt already on the vehicle. To remove it, we're gonna use a 10 millimeter socket. Now we'll attach our ground to the bolt. We need to connect our power wire. Nissan did an amazing job by already running the power wire from the front to the rear. That is located down here with a connector at the end, and we're gonna pull this off and cut the end off with our wire cutters. We're gonna be using heat shrink connectors and a butane torch. We're gonna use a 15 amp fuse and insert it into our fuse holder. Before we start putting everything back together, let's talk about your four flat storage options. You can either leave it in the cargo area of the back of the vehicle and run it out of the tailgate when you're ready to use it, or we can run it under the vehicle. Let's go ahead and show you guys how to run it underneath the vehicle. To run our harness underneath the vehicle, we're gonna take it on the driver's side and run it through the vent. Now we can go ahead and put everything back together in the cargo area. So now that we have a four flat run underneath the vehicle, we need to get to the center of the bumper. To do that, we're gonna go over a bumper beam located here to avoid the muffler because we don't wanna burn our four flat connect. Now that we have our four flat ran near our receiver, we're going to secure it using a four flat bracket. Let's show you how we do it. Using our bracket as a template, we will drill our first hole. Then we will put our screw into place and tighten it up. 
Now we will make sure it is square and repeat. This is not included with our kit, but you can pick it up at your closest U-Haul center or at uhaul.com. Okay, now that our bracket's installed, we're gonna tighten it up using a 3 8 socket. All right, let's put our four flat into place. Now that our install is complete, you guys are ready to tow a trailer. My name's Nicole from Spokane, and thank you again for watching. If you have any questions about the products seen in this video, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul hitch professional, visit us online today at uhaulhitches.com.